43 days and about one and a half hours before the January 20th, 2021 presidential inauguration. So the video I'm about to show you is Mark Hamill. He's a, a actor. Mostly you probably know who Mark Hamill is. And in this video, he is doing some commentary on Trump. And this commentary that he's doing on Trump was in October. Mind you, this was in October. In October, uh, Trump was already saying that the only way that he can lose the election is if the election is rigged. So he was already planning that if I lose, I am going to say the election was rigged, which is exactly what he's doing now. Once again, this video is from October before the election. Check it out. I am going to be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I don't know about you, but after four years of this administration, I'm exhausted. Uh, so I'm getting ready to watch some videos of him. And if ever the force would be with me, I need it right now. Let's get started, shall we? Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful transfer of power after the election? Well, we're gonna have to see what happens. A peaceful transition of power. We'll have to see what happens. Get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. <laughs> we'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. This is so frightening because he said the only way I can lose is if it's a rigged election. So he's setting up the idea that unless he wins, it's fraud. Th that's truly dangerous. I interviewed you in June of last year. You said the health care plan would come in two weeks. I have it already. But it's, yeah. you've been trying to strike down the existing matter. conditions. I have it already. Where is it? That's the thing. Even as he's saying this, his lawyers are in court arguing to, take, to completely take away the Affordable Care Act, including pre-existing conditions, including your children being able to remain on your plan until they're 26. People like the Affordable Care Act. It'll start getting cooler. I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. Hey, well, I don't think science knows actually. And you know, everybody is wearing a mask. The president and his sidekick are both not wearing masks. This guy couldn't be the president of the PTA. He is uh, easily the worst president ever. You said that you don't take responsibility, but you did disband the White House pandemic office. And when you say me, I didn't do it. Uh, we have a group of people. Like, I don't know anything about it. I mean, you say you say we did that. I don't know anything. About Every previous president, Republican and Democrat, understood that they bear ultimate responsibility. It's the first president ever. We're doing a great job. Oh, my gosh. You're living in some episode of the Twilight Zone that... I don't want to see, but we can change all that. Voting is going on right now and everything is on the ballot and we can't be complacent. I mean, we have to fight till the end like we're double digits behind. I'm very hopeful that he will be out of office come January 20th. Oh, please, please. That's all I want for Christmas. Mark Hamill, signing off. Today, Tuesday, December 8th, is Safe Harbor Day. Today is the day that all states have to certify their votes, and this should, this should compel Congress to accept the results. It's not a good day for Trump. This is Ms. Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe.